Welcome back to The Witcher 3. We're here to see if we can find Philippa in her supposed hideout, and also to look for the remaining cat school diagrams. So let's go into the awesome looking vortex and hope it doesn't take us to the fiery pits of hell. Never really know where a portal's gonna go. Hey, portals. Make my stomach turn. Some more of the witch hunters who got killed by monsters. A remix. It's Edge Afraid. This is an owl feather. Hmm. If I do actually find Philippa, what in the hell am I gonna say to her? Neckers. Might have expected as much. Well, I'm gonna get hit as soon as I unpause. Uh, Necker. Necker, Necker, Necker. Are Neckers uh, necrophages? I think they are. It starts with an N. It's gotta be a necrophage, right? Or maybe not. Ogroid? Oh, right, it's an Ogroid. Forgot about that. It's been a while since I fought Neckers. I don't think I have Ogroid oil. Nope. No places like this. <laughs> Seems to be consistently dark down here, so let's go ahead and chug a cat. Not an actual cat, don't worry. Damn, inactive. Maybe I can start it out. <clears throat> Cell for portals. Feels dead. Maybe a sign will revive it. What would charge it? What would charge it? Yerdin? Hard. Should work now. Hmm. Get it. Activated the portal. Who knew a bit of wind could give it enough power? Stay back. Not one step closer. She that before you hurt yourself. Wait, wait, wait. You, you, you that witcher the king was supposed to send? Guessed it. You should know by now how dangerous this place is. I'll wait up above with the others. Not a chance. Those cowards ran at the first whiff of monsters. I made a stiffer stuff. Besides, something big's set to happen here. I just know it. I learn what it is. Radovid will appreciate it. King will promote me. Maybe even give me a medal. <laughs> no. You're gonna die if you stay down here. Think Philip is still here? Can't really know. Sure, we searched a few caverns, but hidden nooks abound. If someone wanted to hide in here, they could easily. Even if they weren't an owl. What's the big event that's supposed to happen? Uh, don't know the details, but I came across Philippa Eilhart's notes. Mm -hmm. Mentioned Ida Emian, Margarita Lowe and Teal, Francesca Finderbear, and Frangela Vigo. As I see it, they aim to meet here. All right, let's get you out of here. Told you already, no chance. Besides, the teleport's power cell. I broke it off. We have to wait till they come for us. Got no choice. Nobody's gonna come for us. Give me the crystal, I'll get us out of here. But the monsters? I'll defend you. What if you can't? No time to argue. Give me the crystal. Over my dead body. 
Have it your way. I'm gonna have to kill him for the crystal. Oh, okay, just punch him. That's fine. You jackass. Guy thinks he's all tough. Come on. Right. Enough. I'll give you the dumb crystal. Out of my way. Ooh. Love letters. Letter to Philippa. Looks like it's not a quest item. Yeah, it's not. Dear Philippa, as I write this, I am sipping your favorite cocktail on the terrace of my father's Matina estate and wondering, what the devil are you thinking? I'd understand if you'd simply grown bored with me. I'd accept if it had turned out that the pair was made not to your liking or you had found yourself a younger, prettier model. But for the love of the bleeding gods, Dijkstra? That, with all due disrespect, pot-bellied swine? Over me? I do not know if you have been testing new concoctions that have addled your mind, or if perhaps this is another one of your games. Yet even if you must seek intimacy with that primitive for political reasons, I do not see why this should mean the end of our relationship. After all, it would not be the first time we would hide our love. Huh, so this person, whoever they are, thinks that Philippa had a relationship, a close relationship, a romantic relationship with Dijkstra. Huh. Interesting. Philippa dumped some woman for Dijkstra. Activated. Let's go. Make some thunderbolt here. Holy shit. Must have been her laboratory. Another feather? Another feather. Doubt Philippa had an aviary. These are signs of polymorphy. Remember, gotta keep in mind that I'm looking for the recipes. Looks like I'm supposed to go that way, so that makes me curious. What's this way? Hmm. Tunnel. Wonder where it leads. Perhaps the recipes are this way. So, I guess I needed that. Be the 
highest level. It's a lot of burned bodies. Were there traps down here? And how come all this stuff is highlighted? Can I break it? <laughs> cool. Uh, I don't think that accomplished anything. Poor cave. Recipes, recipes, recipes. Uh, ooh, relic oil. Not the recipes I was looking for, but still pretty cool. I don't think I had relic oil before, did I? No, let's see if we can make it. Hogroid oil. Since when have I had the recipe for that? Yeah, looks like that's it. Yeah, what am I missing for this? I'm missing four mistletoe. Okay. I don't think that's super rare. I can probably buy it from pretty much any alchemist. I really do need to fix my oils because I'm such a you know I'm such a oil and I guess mostly oil, oil and potion based character build, I really do need to focus on my oils and make sure I have the best. So I think next time I'm in town or something, I'm going to try to specifically seek out the stuff I need to make the best oils that I can. And I think I see something down here. Yes! Spike Rug Akaton. Mastercrafted racing saddle. Most likely not better than what I've got. But let's check them out. Piece of armor first. Light armor, that's good. Uh, it's got more armor. It's two levels higher. It's got one slot just like mine. 10% piercing damage, that's the same. 18% bludgeoning, that's less. 30% slashing, that's the same. 3% damage from monsters, it does not have that. Um, it's really close to what I have right now. I wouldn't say it's really better or worse. It's kind of about the same. Uh, I'm curious what it looks like, though. Hmm. I like the top part. I think the top part looks pretty cool. But I don't really like this part. Yeah, this one looks a lot cooler. I'm going to stick with this one. What was the other thing? Oh, the saddle. Yeah, 55 stamina compared to my superior one, which is 70. Not any better. Okay, so traps. Maybe let's not walk in the center. Hello. Oh, yeah. Gotta have a sentry. Of course. Of course. Bring it on. Oh, what the? That wasn't the... E oh, I, th I thought you were just a golem. You're an Ifrit. You're more like a fire golem than, a, you know, the standard, like, physical attack golem, I think. Okay. Uh, new attack patterns to get used to, then. Fire damage from something, but what? Is it the traps? Are there traps? I'm assuming there's traps there. Let's not stand around there. Um. Hello? <laughs> Alright, um, I'll see. I'll see you guys in like 20 minutes once I've killed the Efreet. Uh, no, that's no fun. Come on. There you go. Got you going again. Oof. 
I'm burning. Looks like it's charging an attack or something. Ooh, that's a really cool enemy. I really like that. It looks like I was taking damage from the fire that it leaves behind. It looks like if it just, it, like anywhere it walks, it just leaves fire on the ground. So I think it was touching that that was burning me. Greater. Dazbog runestone, nice. Golem's heart, I'm sure that's gonna come in handy. Yeah, Quen seems like it's of limited use there, because if you basically basically if you get near it, you're gonna take damage. And it's gonna instantly get rid of your Quen. Just because there's like fire everywhere. Let's go ahead and rest for an hour, get my stuff back. Let's take a look at that runestone, actually. Because I do have slots in my silver sword. Then again, am I about to craft, like, the Cat School Gear silver sword? Possibly. Yeah, I'm not even going to consider putting runestones in anything until I have all the, uh... All the diagrams. Another feather. Doubt Philippa had an aviary. These are signs of polymorphy. Can't see a damn thing. Well, that's a trap if I ever saw one. What's it gonna be? Spectres again? Nothing? I thought for sure that was a trap. Gotta make sure I search this place thoroughly in case I miss the recipes that I need, the diagrams. So yeah, let me make sure I didn't miss anything in this room. I did not go in here. Reaver's boots. Sounds pretty cool. Let's check them out. Ah, medium armor. Not gonna wear them. Gotta be light. This looks hideous with a cat now. Let's rest to get rid of it. What the hell happened here? This bed's covered in blood. Agates. Kind Philip always wore around her neck. Except, why are these covered in blood? She either fought someone or used them in her experiments. Stained surgical instruments. Philippa operated on someone here. Notes. Charred. Almost completely. Can't read a thing. A megascope. Scorched. Covered in soot. Maybe one of the crystals survived. A megascope. Scorched. Covered in soot. Maybe one of the crystals survived. Crystal from a megascope. Heavily chipped.
Looks like this place was ransacked. Hmm. What's this? Aniseed and birch bark. Powerful disinfectant. So powerful disinfectant. Surgical tools, lots of blood. Operated on someone or something down here, obviously. I have no idea what the megascope's for, though. Wait, I didn't miss something back here, did I? Something on the wall? Nah, just more like surgical instruments and stuff. Gotta remember, I'm also down here for the diagrams. This is where I just was before, right? Yeah. Uh, do I just go back the way I found- the, the way I came? I do? Wait. If I just leave, I'm not gonna find the diagrams, right? Does it tell me specifically where to find them? Or just anywhere down here? Oh, I guess I've gotta go back outside or something. Maybe? Hmm. I don't know. Could be. Could be. I feel like I've searched this place pretty thoroughly, so maybe it is just some other place up above. Maybe this specific rune is not it. We'll find out shortly. Nah, I've already searched down there. Where'd that guy go? Finally decided he wanted to go home? Got scared of the knackers. Well, good. You should be scared of the knackers, because they're terrifying. Oop, didn't search this one. Just a couple... Fungi. Anything this way? Tell these people a thing. I'm supposed to report to Radovid, not to them. Not to your concern. Wrong there, friend. I serve the king. Everything that concerns him's my concern as well. Hand it over, whatever you found. We'll see the king gets it. More like they'll see that the king gets that they get credit for it. Hand it over, say you found it. Nah. Forgetting yourself. Save your orders for your men. As you wish. Grab him! <laughs> you want to fight me for it? Fine. I think it's bomb time. What bombs do I have? Grape shot, devil's puffball? Yeah, that's good. Have some poison in enclosed quarters. Petty thing for those witch hunters to die over. I 
wonder what Radovid's gonna think. I don't know, Radovid's crazy. I don't think he'll give a crap as long as he gets what he wants. Explore the ruins. So this is the place. Would it just be hanging out up here instead of down below? Is there just a chest somewhere? I don't know, this place doesn't look too big. Well, let's take a look around. Do some picking. Do some gardening, it's pleasant. It's therapeutic. I do not see any chests. I'm not leaving until I get those diagrams. You can be damn sure of that. I've come this far finding all the diagrams. I'm not gonna end the quest with two unfound... Shit, I think I might have to go back down. I don't see where else they could be. <gasps> could that be it? Please, 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 please. Vampire oil? Ah, damn it, it's not. Although, um, I never actually had vampire oil before, so let's see if I can make it. Yes. Sweet. Let's widen our search a little bit. Because I found that chest kind of outside of the main part of the ruins. Uh, what if I, like, can I get up on this thing up here? Like, up on the wall sort of thing? Okay, that doesn't have collision. Cool. I don't think you're supposed to be up here. Oh shit! Look at that. Uh... Could it be up here? There's a... There's a thing to examine over there. I don't know what that is. I'll check that out in a minute. Let's see if I can make it over to the other one. Oh, yeah, sweet. I feel like you're not supposed to be up here, so most likely is not up here. But it's worth checking. And it's kind of cool anyway, isn't it? Yeah, it's not here. Hello. Hmm. Might want to look around some. Look around some... Here. Oh yeah, it gave me a little bubble to look around in that's just right around here. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Come on, I want those diagrams so bad. Please, I want them. Could it be down below a little bit? Let's go see. Mm. Geralt! Damn you and your weak knees. <laughs> when did I last save? Well, I I'm gonna find it. And reload my save. And make back any progress I lost. And I'll be right back. Ah! It is down below. This is just right in the crack. Right below where the symbol is. It's a wall I can break. Gotcha! This has got to be them. Feline silver sword? Wait. That means I'm still going to be missing one piece. 
but I have Sigismund Gloger's notes. This is such a cool quest! Also, why is there a hand icon, like, below the ground here? Is there supposed to be something there? Hmm. Let's read those notes in just a second. Let's get a good view. Yeah. There we go. Beautiful. And now we're going to cover up the beautiful view with a menu. What were you up to, Sigismund Gloger? A lot of things, apparently. Excavations to be carried out by Gottfried Oss, Michelle Sabina Ruxer, and Marco Gettel, under the supervision of Professor Sigismund Gloger. We have begun excavation work under the aegis of the Oxenfurt Academy, and with kind sponsorship from Prince Adrian of the Sea Cats. Our goal is to find the legendary treasure of King Megalor of Est Tyr. Tyr, 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 Est Tyr. Eighth of something, first day of excavations. I'm deeply worried about the Witcher present among our company. I had a bad feeling about him at the very start, during the first meeting at Castle Dream. Now, as we trek dark underground caverns, his presence gives me shivers. Are we entirely sure his task is to protect our expedition? Furthermore, Castle Drame is too close to Oxenfurt for us not to have heard those unsettling rumors about Prince Adrian. Eligible fragment. I'm guessing what they're talking about with Prince Adrian is probably how the cat school people, the cat school witchers, are rumored to be assassins. I'm guessing that's what they're talking about. I have no idea who Prince Adrian really is, but... Perhaps they were assassinated, and there's a rumor that the Witchers of the Cat School did it. Third day of excavations. Kion demanded we surrender all notes found in the ruins of the Elven Armory. I refused. Ah, right, so it's the Witcher Kion. The one that I ended up fighting a little while ago. The one that was kept for those horrible tests and then had a demon placed in their body. Fifth day. We pitched camp in the vast in a vast and dry cavern in the easterly portion of the complex. There are a few active portals here. I'm afraid they are very likely unstable and unidirectional. Sixth day. The Witcher murdered Marco. He was deciphering one of the priceless elven sketches when suddenly, as I watched on aghast, the Witcher slit his throat and grabbed his... incunabulum. I panicked and jumped into one of the portals. It deposited me in some chamber which has no exit. Unless an echo of the portal appears, I am stuck here for good. I hope Michelle and Gottfried manage to escape. Remainder of the notes difficult to decipher and no dates are indicated. I must conclude the Witcher had from the very start been operating on Prince Adrian's orders. I would not be surprised if they were toasting their scheme's success... Dream Castle at this very moment? I think that's supposed to say at Dream Castle at this very moment. Blast it. Perhaps I should have given those elven diagrams to Keon after all. What good are they to me if I'm here, if I'm to rot in this crypt? I've finished the last drops of my water. There's nothing to eat. No echo from the portal has appeared. Gods, I don't believe in you. But if you do in fact exist, if you exist, Save me. Poor Gloger. Died from dehydration, I suppose. That's what you die from first before before starving to death. <sighs> so it sounds like I mean, even though what happened to Keon was horrible, and nobody deserved the tests that they did to Keon and the, the torture. But it sounds like Keon was not a good person, either. <laughs> now we need to go to Dream Castle. I love this quest so much. It's such a huge quest line. Alright, where's Dream Castle? Right there. Oh, apparently I've already been there. I have. In its glory years, this castle was home to the Redanian Moscovitz of the Sea Cats dynasty, patrons of the arts and admirer 
admirers of elven culture. After the death by suicide of the dynasty's last member, Prince Adrian, the castle fell into the hands of the Redanian crown, and then into ruin. Oh, so Prince Adrian killed themselves. All right, let's go ahead and fast travel straight there. Where's that sign? No, seriously, where's that sign? Which way? East. Well, north, but east from my current location. I haven't checked the stats of any of this cat school gear. I can't wait to get all of them and, and see what they are. It's probably going to be quite a bit better than what I've got. What are these enemies over here? Oh, are those just bandits? Nah, I don't feel like fighting bandits. There's blood all over the ground. Oh wait, let's go up first. Almost missed you, letter. There's a blade there. Not from the cat school, but it is a blade. Doesn't say what kind of blade. Killer whale? What the hell is that? Alchemy formula? Is that a potion? And there's even higher up. Jesus Christ, what happened here? Let's take a look at those two things. So we've got a blade and we have a new alchemical formula. So killer whale. Was it a bomb? No. There it is. It is a potion. Increases breath supply while underwater by 50% and improves vision while diving. Oh, cool! That's so cool! That makes me wonder if there's stuff that you can only find deep underwater that you can't get to unless you have that potion. Be damn hard to search for it, but that'd be super cool. Just need one more buckthorn and I can do it. It would be really tedious to search underwater, though. But still, that's cool. Okay, a blade. What kind? Silver? No. Steel? There it is. Level level 21, so I can't use it yet. Well, I'll compare that to the other stuff once I actually get to level 21. For now, it doesn't seem great. It's three levels above me, but it's only plus 25, plus 25 attack power, and it's only got one slot, which is not good. Oh, and it's got no stats at all. Yeah, it's got 0, 0, 0, 0 on everything compared to my current weapon. It's a plain blade with one, one gem slot, or one rune slot. Nah. Sounds crappy. But that killer whale is really cool. Enhanced Golden Oriole. I don't even remember what Oriole does. This place is great for recipes, though. This is awesome. Grants immunity to poisons. Oh, that's right. Extended duration. Okay. I am missing a blow ball, but that's it. I'm definitely going to do some hardcore alchemy once I'm done with this quest line. And crafting too, crafting all the all the gear probably, assuming the stats are good. Hey, bandit asshole. Shit, I'm out of bombs. Oh, ho hold on. I'll continue to insult you in just a second. Uh, uh, moon dust. Perfect. It's harmless. 
Hey, bandit asshole! Haha! <laughs> he doesn't even care. <laughs> He's like, oh, what was that? Must have been a mosquito. That's gotta be the final manuscript right there. I bet it is. Redanian Halberdier's armor. Mmm, that sounds heavy, but let's check it out. Yep, medium weight. No, it's not in here. Huh. Expected to find it all the way at the top. Alright, let's go down. I want to just jump down these ladders, but I've had Geralt break his feet too many times. So I'm going to try it again. It'll be fine, don't worry. I've been drinking my milk. His bones have increased in density. Alright, I should have just climbed down a ladder at this point. Jesus, there's so many diagrams. What even is that? Armor? Weapon? I don't even know. Let's see if I can even find it. It was this, right? Silver sword, level 23. Two slots. 50 critical hit damage bonus. Hmm. Seems okay. Yeah, that actually seems pretty good. But that's a lot of levels ahead of me. That's five levels ahead of me. Let's not worry about that for now. Prince Adrian's journal and the feline steel sword. Done. That was a really cool quest and really long. I love that. That's like a two hour treasure hunt. gonna make it feel really satisfying once I craft all the stuff. Oh, let's go ahead and read the journal. Is it a quest item? No. Prince Adrian, what happened to you? Keon performed wonderfully. It's a shame, of course, that Professor Gloger disappeared somewhere in the ruins of Est Tyre, along with the rest of the elven diagrams. But those sketches for a steel sword alone are worth as much as a village in southern Redania. We split the takings equally, as per our agreement. I kept the diagram for the silver sword, while Keon took the crossbow diagram. I must admit, I didn't exactly need every member of the expedition's head preserved in vinegar, but they do constitute impressive proof of Keon's conscientiousness and professionalism. The Witcher swore none of the archaeologists would leave Estair alone, and none did. Uh, sorry, Estair alive, and none did. All the more shame, then, that Keon didn't accept my offer. As my personal bodyguard, he would never have wanted for a thing. A steady pay, caviar and strawberries for breakfast, lobster for lunch, daily baths, a court surgeon and courtesans of both sexes for all his needs. And if he still lacked for anything, he had but to knock on my chamber door. He must very much love all that trudging around the world because I do not believe Jacob of Dembic could have dangled a better offer than I did. Really now, Jacob of Dembic? A second-rate captain transporting horrors to Dockside Novigrad pimps for a fistful of crowns? With any luck, sooner or later a storm will sink that leaky tub of his and Keon will return to me, tail between his legs. Uh, illegible scribbling, scrubbed, uh, waxing, blade oil, devil's puffball, hmm. Ink visibly fresher than previous entries, 
Many years must have passed. I have heard the flying deer, the vessel on which Keon was sailing, wrecked off the coast of Grassy Knoll. Was it my curse? Hmm. Not bad, for a beginner. Perhaps I should think about enrolling at Menard. <laughs> nope, don't think it was a curse. It was an asshole mage. Uh, so yeah, Keon was not a good witcher. Keon was a piece of shit. Still, of course, did not deserve to be tortured, but... He was not a good person. Do you know what it's time to do? It's time to do some crafting. Let's take a look at the recipes. For the first time... This is not the recipes. Let's try that again. So feline boots, the whole feline line of stuff is what I am going to be wearing. See how that compares. Plus 17 armor, that is way better than what I've got on. And I think it's all going to be level 17, which is just one level below me, which is great. Plus 5% attack power. Cool, what about the main piece of armor? Plus 41 armor? 41 more armor than my current armor, that is so good. 5% attack power. God, that's good. All these pieces adding 5% attack power, I'm going to end up with plus 20% attack power just wearing all the pieces of armor. Check out the other things. The gauntlet, feline gauntlets, plus 11. Another 5% attack power. Let's take a look at the trousers. Plus 13. Another 5% attack power. Doesn't have the plus uh, 100 or plus 350 vitality that my current pants have, but still. That is damn good. Let's take a look at the weapons now. Feline steel sword. Okay, so base damage is slightly better than my current steel sword. 5% chance to cause bleeding. 5% bonus experience from humans and non-humans. Nice. Uh, ironically enough, it doesn't have any critical hit damage bonus. Which you'd think stuff that's, you know, meant to be used by a light armor wearing witcher, you'd think it would have that. Which is a little bit strange. Also, it's only got one slot, which kind of sucks. So that's... Hmm. Honestly, the current sword that I'm using might be better, but I feel like I'm going to use this anyway just to complete the set. And because it feels appropriate. Let's take a look at the other one. Feline silver sword. Okay, that is considerably better. Plus 27. Still only one slot, which is disappointing. 5% chance to cause bleeding. 20% bonus experience from monsters. That's a huge increase. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to be really happy with this stuff. So I would say that the armor is exceptional. The armor is really good. And I'd say the weapons, compared to what I have, are okay. I'd say the Silver Sword is a moderate increase over my current one, just because of the base damage. And I'd say the uh, Steel Sword is maybe a slight decrease from my current weapon, unfortunately. But I'll still craft it and use it just to complete the set. Yeah, I can't wait to craft that stuff and see what it looks like! I can't wait to put it on and see what it looks like! It's gotta look really cool. Fuck off, bandits. Fuck off! I'm going back inside. They're about to attack me. Oh no, they are attacking me. Oh, you can bring your horse inside? Holy shit, you are bringing your horse inside. Uh. There, take that. I'll make him sneeze, irritate his lungs. <laughs> Alright. We're good. You okay, horsey? <clears throat> Please let me go, horsey. Horsey, please. There we go. Jesus. See, look at the blood stain on that little uh, little lip there. Just, it's an easy story to concoct. He was just walking, and he tripped, and he bashed his head on that, like the bottom of the door frame there. 
It was just an accident. Okay, so that has been like two episodes of just getting the diagrams. It's been an epic quest, really cool. I can't wait to craft the stuff, but I'm going to save crafting it for the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to craft the entire set of cat school gear, try it on, and I'm also going to track down as many alchemical ingredients as I can to try to make all of the oils that I've been neglecting.